and the question of hip, the question of cannabis, is the most vivid illustration of how this government has overstepped its bounds in policing the private behavior of citizens. When they told us we couldn't plant a hip seed in the ground, they severed us from the natural cycle. That is what they seek to do. I call it the synthetic subversion, where they want to replace all the natural products on earth that used to be grown out of God's earth and God's seed and replace them with synthetic products and knock our farmer out of the agrarian society and the agrarian market and make the ghost towns of our small cities and villages across this country. We need to rediscover a cash crop, yes. one that will allow our farmers to go back to the land, one that will allow our farmers to compete with the petrochemical pipelines. You plant U.S. 7% agricultural land in hemp, you would have to import another drop of oil. We can replace the spills in the Gulf. We can replace the uh, environmental catastrophe that the petroleum pipelines have cast upon Mother Earth and instead let our farmers grow hemp as a fuel crop. In 1991, Willie Nelson and I poured hemp oil into my Mercedes diesel and drove it across Kentucky in my bed for governor. That's why he started his biofuel plant. Listen, folks. You all have been handed a, a, a torch. Jack Hare, bless his soul, passed away. I'm getting old up here. You know, we cannot make carry this ball much longer. You have to become educated. You have to learn the truth. You have to reach out there and grab the responsibility of maintaining your freedom. Every generation must rewind its own freedoms. And those very sacrifices right up to the very last second I've been talking to you, made on your behalf, cannot continue anymore. What really counts is your all's commitment to what sacrifices you're willing to make in the future to maintain your freedom. And it's right there in front of you. I encourage you, I encourage you to learn the law. I encourage you to learn the political process. I encourage you to reach out there and take responsibility of your own freedom, live your life like a warrior, God bless you all. Thanks for having me out here in Seattle.